Hello my friends and subscribers. And this is Stepanov Brothers. We made an amazing video for you. This is the, the detailed tutorial of how can we can apply gel nails. And as you can see, my brother Andrew is removing gel from the nail plate. He works with the barrel drill bit. And as you can see, he never moves this drill bit on the same place. This is important for avoiding hitting the nail plate. In some areas my video will be with a high speed. So we are removing the gel nail, nail by nail. And as you can see the barrel drill bit removes the gel quickly. My brother now is using the pusher and he is rolling down cuticles also nail by nail. The flame drill bit helps him quickly remove the pterygia. You shouldn't make too much pressure on this drill bit. We just need to remove only the dead skin. And as you can see, he moves three or four times on the same place. And when he make, makes sure that he removes the skin, he is following the other place. And when, once this is done, he works with 100 grid file and he is fixing now the shape for these cat claw shaped nails. You should differ two nail shapes, the stiletto nail shape and the cat claw nails. The stiletto nails should have the longest, the longer length than the cat claw nails. And the side walls are flat. For the cat claw nails, it's usual to have little bit curved side walls, like cat claws. And as you can see, he is he now is fixing each nail. And now he works with cuticle nippers. So we can divide the hardware manicure on two parts. The first part we just need to remove some remaining particles of cuticles. And on the second part, we will be remove the skin with the drill bits. And now he works with the primer. And after that, he works with the base gel and he is um, covering each nail with this base gel. We cure this base gel in UV lamp for one minute or in LED LED lamp for 30 seconds. So we at first apply the one hand, place it in an UV lamp or LED lamp and after we work with the other hand. And now he is applying the sculpting mix gel on the fourth finger 
and as you can see the large amount of the gel he is placing close to cuticles. This is needed to protect the stress zone from breaking. He also uses the pusher and he removes some gel that was put it on the skin. So it, it helps him to make the perfect coat, the perfect uh, sculpting mix builder coat. And after this has cured in an UV lamp or a LED lamp for two or three minutes, he has removed the tacky layer with the Robin alcohol and he is proceeding with the 100 grid file. Now he is creating the perfect shape for these nails. And as you can see now, uh, at first he is working with the length side, the length of the nail. He is fixing side walls with the file and he is shaping nails from the top from the top to the left side as you can see and from the top to the right side. It helps to create a very smooth and clean and very flat shape and after he is removing the remaining gel under the nail plate under the length of the nail okay don't forget to look on all nails, compare one nail to the other nail. The shape of the length of each nail should be the similar and the pinky nail should be a little bit shorter than other nails. And as you can see he works at first from the one nail and after he proceeded proceeds to the other nail by nail and he he doesn't touch the cuticles area because she will be working with the cone drill bit at first because she because he needs to clean this area and now you see him with pushing cuticles again it's needed to apply the second part of the manicure and it's needed to remove the gel underneath of cuticles in this way he removes the remaining gel and the second reason why he does that um, it helps to remove to open the cuticles and after that he will be using the ball drill bit to clean it and to remove the dead cuticles. This is the common thing in Russian, Russian style manicure, but the uh, nail technicians not always use the cone drill bit. Sometimes they use sand drill bits. Uh, And uh, the, this drill bits helps to open cuticles. Okay, and after he uses barrel drill bit 
and this drill bit helps him to quickly remove the gel underneath the nail plate and for the fine work for the fine work he uses the same cone drill bit and as you can see we we have two drill bits that helps us to quickly work works with with nails the first one is barrel drill bit and the second one is cone drill bit what about files sometimes i put files into the packages when you uh, or make orders uh, but if you need i can sell you uh, the set of files that i use that we use and you will try them and these files are very long living and works works a lot so as you can see after filing uh, the skin is dry and this thing helps us to remove cuticles because if you work with the ball jewel bit with uh, on the wet skin you will hurt it and you will uh, cut it so you should remember this thing we work with the ball drill bead only when the skin is dry um, the nail dust is making the skin dry so after filing we don't need to use anything not rubbing alcohol nor special powders to make the skin dry so we can easily make the fine work with the ball drill bead. Okay, and after we should make the first coat of coat of the top gel and cure it in a lead lamp for one minute. It will help us to, to make the perfect nail design. Because this coat helps us to create the smooth uh, surface. And we just need to use the buffer to make it matte. And as you can see, I'm using now the black acrylic paint. And now I'm mixing it with water. I just put the brush into the water and mix it again and again to create uh, the liquid like like a, something like uh, the milk consistency of milk. So this consistency helps us to draw thin lines like you see on the video. And as you can see, now I'm drawing some decals. At first we, we should draw it on each nail. And after we will beat it with thin elements. Like you, you can see on the video. One, two and three. So at first we should mix um, the pressure on the brush and after that we should move it on the tip. Okay, like you see now. When we just continue with drawing these small lines on each nail. And the first step for us will be we just need to add some tiny elements like this these are dots or tiny thin lines with the tip of the brush and as you can see we have beaded the composition 
and now it looks perfectly and elegant. So we don't need to spend a lot of time to draw this composition, this nail design. And uh, we can create the effect of the natural lace, of the natural patterns. So as you can see, I haven't spent a lot of time for drawing this, this composition. But the effect is beautiful. And now we are covering nails with the matte top coat. And removing the tacky layer. It has no tacky layer, but I, I, I remove it just cleaning the skin. And after covering, uh, now we're shaping sidewalls very neatly. I'm not going to cut the skin and after we will see the result of our work. Let's take a look. Nails look natural, beautiful and elegant. So this is the best way to create fantastic and amazing nail design. It's easy as you can see. Thanks for watching guys. If you have any question, you can ask me down in the comments. And you can order all tools and products in our store. The link is under the video.